Talk about midterms. Beth and I have a bitch of a test tomorrow. It's in history of journalism. You know, come to think of it, I think I have that test too. We never see you in there. Well, that's because I'm always late. You know, I sort of slink into the back of the class. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, Beth and I sit right in the front row next to the stage. It figures. Woo! I wouldn't be going to the air if I was you. Why are you guys looking so depressed? We're talking about midterms, something you would know nothing about. Midterms? Wow, already? Yeah. Yeah. And Toby, this test is at 8 o'clock in the morning in history of journalism, and if you're not going to be of any help, you can just sit there and be quiet. Wait a minute. Did you say history of journalism? Yes. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I gotta check something out here. What time does it meet? B hour, 8 o'clock, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Where? In the theater. Ooh, <laughs> I got that class too. But you've never even been there! Well, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my days to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, along with Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. That's enough talk, you guys. We gotta get organized now who has the best notes so we can study. Notes? Let me check my notes. Let me see. Here it is. Day one, January 12th. No attendance policy. Two tests. Midterm and final. Students responsible for all lecture notes on tests. Well, um, that's all the notes I have. Lecture notes? He never says anything. So why are we required to buy a textbook? Exactly. I paid $70 for this used book over in the bookstore. Yeah, and I bought this new one for $71.50. That's, that's about par for the bookstore, isn't it? There are bookstores. Listen, I've taped some of the lectures. Maybe I can find one that'll help. Lectures? <laughs> there were lectures? Beth, go ahead. Play the type. We gotta get started somehow tonight. All right, I think I have one about the muckrakers. I'm sure that'll be on the test, so let's listen to it. Okay. Good morning, class. Today I will discuss an important and dynamic topic. The muckrakers. Miss Nabel's fascinating History of the Standard Oil Company ran in McClure's until 1904, and her detailed, thoroughly documented account of unfair business practices. Highly important as the People's Champions were the magazines that, in the dozen years after 1900, developed a literature of exposure that Theodore Roosevelt... Damn! Get up! Get up! You're supposed to be studying? Get up! Get up! Remember studying? Remember midterms? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is never gonna work! What are we gonna do? Wait! I've got it! I've got it! <laughs> I've got it, okay? There's this guy, Robert, in class. Follow me on this. He's a real nerd, okay? But he could probably help us. Can we give him a call? Yes. Yeah. I'll give him a call. Oh, no. All these notes. I think this guy can help us. We're in trouble. Bobby. Robert. Right, Robert. <laughs> Come in. Hey, I got the, the bowling ball redrilled. Bowling ball? Yeah. See you later, man. Yeah, I imagine I will. This must be him. Hey, Bobby, come on in. It's Robert. Sorry. What's all this? I wrote my notes for history of journalism.
Now remember, Joseph Pulitzer's New York World emerged as the people's champion after the Spanish-American War. I thought that was the New York Journal. No, that was a Hearst paper. Well, what about the New York American? No, that was Hearst too. No, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Were there two Hearst? Mother, I can't believe this. We got a midterm in two hours. I think I better make some more coffee. It's a good idea. That'll fix the bastards. All right, I got. All right, I got an 88. Mindy, you got. You got a 90. A 90. I got higher grade than you did. Figures. All right, All right Chris, you got. You got a 75. God, 75? That's past grade. Robert, let's see. Yeah, what did Robert get? A 51. 51? <laughs> I. I failed. <laughs> That's all right. We all did better than Toby. Let's see what he got. He's down here. Yeah, what did Toby get? He got a hundred. He got a hundred. He got a hundred. The highest grade in the class. Robert's and dead. Robert failed. Robert's dead, and Toby got a hundred. <laughs> He's dead. What are we gonna I can't do? Can't believe this. Well, we're gonna have to cheer him up somehow. So what can we do to cheer him up? <sighs> I've got a great idea. That scares me. Let's have a party. Right. A party? Beer, music, fun. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. I'll call, I'll call Toby evening. and he'll get everything started. Okay. Right. Call Toby. Revive, right. Robert. Yeah. Toby, we got our grades. You got a hundred. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have a party. Yeah. Well, so, so could you like to go out and get things started? Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. Woo, party! Bobby, you gotta snap out of it. Robert. Yeah, Robert, well, I know what you need. I'm going to make a call. It's good. You want to learn yeah, a new game? I mean, like Intrepid? I got a friend of Sort of like Intrepid, except this is a fun game. Well, okay, so sure. right. thanks. Let's take it uh, Good. Ooh, quarters. Cool. Drink. It gets better. Drink. Drink again. Drink, Drink again. I thought you had like fun this. Now, aren't you? Drink again. I get to make a roll. That's so cool. Okay. 
Midterms. <laughs> We're talking about our midterms, something you would know nothing about. Midterms? Wow. Already? Yeah. Already. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Action. Talk about a midterm. Me, Beth and I have a 